Hey, 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 everybody. How's it going? This is Rich Saunders, the designer and manufacturer of Sidekick Saga. And guess what came in the mail? This is the first copy FedExed from China. So I haven't even seen this myself. So let's see what the final uh, product looks like. Oh, am I going to get scissors? I'm going to have to get scissors. Oh, this is exciting. So I have not seen this either. A bunch of stuff here. Out of the way. Oh, they wrapped it really well. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is so exciting. This is what you guys should be getting in the mail. Probably not like this. But, come, but this is just the very first copy is the FedEx from China. So that I can see what it looks like. Right now, Quartermaster General should be picking up the rest of the games and putting them on a ship so that they can ship to their warehouse in Florida. Okay. Wait, they really wrapped this, didn't they? Well, it's good, right? It means it won't be all squished. Oh, that looks so cool. Here we go. The first copy of Sidekick Saga. So here's what the edges look like. Here's your favorite villains. Some of your gangs, some of your favorite heroes right there on the side. There's some information about the game. Uh, 60 to 90 minutes, one to four players, 14 plus years. And then the wonderful, wonderful art, Mr. Phil Cho. I love his art so much, that's why I wanted him to, to do the game. I asked him and he did. Uh, and then here's what the game looks like, sort of set up on the back with some information about who printed it, game will end. Um, this shows a setup, this talks about the game. Here's our artists. Uh, well, this is the designer, me. The art's by Phil Cho. Christina Mamar helped out a lot, as did Mr. William, uh, M William Liberto. He was great. He did a lot of the um, heroic items. So, okay, so the, the outside looks great. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside. Let's take this little plastic wrap off. This would be exactly what you get when you get the game. So, except, oh, it's so cool. I absolutely love Phil's art. I love that cover. Okay, so let's see, take this off. And you can see here, just the size of the box here just look like the city that you're gonna be in, which is New Dover. Okay, let's see what we got here. So here's all the booklets. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at all the little booklets. They're in a little plastic thing here. So what do we got here? We have, doo -doo -doo. okay, let's see. So first of all, we got the rule book right here. Uh, the back is a glossary with a lot of terms. If you need to look something up, I'd suggest looking at the glossary. But, oh, look at that. Oh, the picture of the setup. Your first play. Um, there's some of the uh, sidekicks you can play. Oh, there's the components list. Very important. Um, sidekick of interest chart. Discussion of that. Discussion of bad news. Oh, this is so great. This looks wonderful. Uh, talking about when you go into secret identity mode. Oh, this is so wonderful. Uh, talking about the different villains, uh, the thugs, minions, and villains, which are the bad guys in the game. So yeah, this looks really great. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Okay, so that's the rule book. Now this is the scenario book, and I don't want to open this up um, because this is, it's got little directions, and you'll see this a lot in the game. Stop, do not open uh, until you're ready. So this is Scenario Book. Now you can read Scenario Zero. Scenario Zero is the first patrol. If you've never really played a lot of um, too many cooperative games, this, or, or just if you want to learn the game from the basic mechanics, the first patrol is a much simpler version of the game. And then once you have that under your belt, you can play one of the issues. So that's the Scenario Book. And there are eight scenarios in here. Okay. Okay, and then these are the issues. Now this is the meat of the game, remember this is a legacy game, so it unfolds over six issues. One, two, three, four, five, six. And basically, uh, you uncover a story and the, thing, the world changes as you go between issues. And I don't want to show you these because this is, this is the legacy part of the game. This is the meat of the game. So don't open this until ready. Oh, that looks so good. I'm so pleased. So very pleased with that. Okay, so that's all the books. And then finally, uh, this is the, the biographies. Just kind of a quick, if you want to see what each of the heroes are, there's Amethyst Arrow, Blackbird, um, Commissioner Jones, Delphi, uh, the Tinkerer, Mock Q, 
Epsilon Wave, and the Shadow Walker. So these are all the heroes you can play. But remember, one of my favorite things about this game is you can make your own superheroes. So those are all our booklets. Cool. All right, so now we've got our punch outs. So the punch outs are also in a little plastic baggie here. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Ooh, ah, look at that. So the punch outs. So here's your characters. You're going to put these in little standees. These are what are called the peril tokens. And uh, we'll punch those out in a second until you kind of describe those. Here's your POW tokens. This is how you denote hit points in the game. And on the other side, um, you'll see here's the Heroes and Secret Identity form on the back. And then these are five on the back. So there's only 30 POW tokens, but because they say five on one side and one on the other, you, you should be able to, uh, to use them correctly. And then just more of your heroes. And then remember, there's blank stuff here because... We want to be able to make our own heroes, so you want to be able to like download something, put a little sticker on here, and so on. And these are what are called the soy tokens. There should be some soy tokens for every hero you make. These are called the um, um, Xenite Communicators. And uh, you'll notice here for the uh, Sidekick of Interest tokens that they're blank on the back, and that's on purpose. Uh, you'll notice uh, even though the these tokens are double-sided. I wanted you to be able to use these for your soy tokens, so that's why they're purposely empty on this side, so that when you make your own super, you can use the back sides of these, okay? And the funny thing is it's this is kind of a legacy game because as soon as you change some of these tokens, you've now changed it forever when you make your own super. So that's part of why this is a legacy game. All right, so let's, oh, that's so cool. Da -da -da -da, walking around the board. We're totally gonna set this up. I'm going to play a game tonight and try out this. This is so good. All right, so that's all the uh, punch outs. Put that to the side right here. Okay, what else we got here? Now, these are the adventure decks. These are pretty big. This is the meat of the game. This directs um, the, the six issues. Like, adventure deck one is issues one through three, and uh, uh, adventure deck two is issues uh, four through six. Now, I'm going to go through another unboxing of these because these need a quick fix. There's, you can see there's an errata on the front. You need to basically flip um, uh, six cards, I think it's eight, eight cards in the deck so that they turn the right way because that was just a small uh, uh, packaging error. It's not a printing error. All the cards are correct. It's just that there was a small uh, packaging error. So that's what the errata says there. Uh, what it says is get a friend to do it because because as this, these decks come out, the adventure decks come out, they unveil a story, and you don't want to be, you want to be surprised by the story. So if you have a friend do it, then you can still be surprised. So, oh, check that out. It's got a really nice insert. And of course, you know it's a real game because it's got silica gel. It's got to be a real game. This is your city terror marker. That marks the city terror. And why that's important is because all these are a lot of your character cards. This is so cool! Okay, so what we got in here, so we've got your three tier own superhero cards. Ooh, there should be six of them. Okay, this is the heroes you can play. Delphi, Commissioner Jones, Blackbird, and Amethyst Arrow. Mock Q gets unlocked later in the game, as does Epsilon Wave. And Shadow Walker and Tinkerer are two heroes you can play too. So these are all the heroes you get to play. These are create your own. These are made. Uh, this is the Sidekick Adventures chart. This is the City Terror chart, which our little token was for. Oh, and these are all the bad guys. Oh, these bad guys. And then um, this is going to be probably your f best friend when you play the game. These are the summary cards. Every, there's enough for everybody, so you can play up to four players. So this is kind of going to direct the game. So this is probably going to be your best friend when you're playing the game. Because you can just look at here and get a sense of how the game goes. And if you need to look anything up, you can look it up in the robot. Cool. That's so cool. And, oh, I don't know if you noticed this, but they all have a linen finish on them. Ah, so pretty, so nice. You look at it in the little sheen like that, you can see the linen finish. That's so cool. Okay. All right, now these are um, these two decks here are what are called the generic cards. Um, you, can, you can always tell the generic cards. It's a little hard to see on the video. But down here in the, uh, let's see, that would be your, uh, when you're looking at it, it's the right-hand side on mine. It's my left. There's a little globe here which says these are the global cards. Every game uses these. Um, these are all the location cards so that there are, uh, nine locations, one of them you have to unlock, but there are nine, nine locations in the starting game, and there's eight um, cards per location. So this is 72 cards, which are the location sticks. Okay. So let's see what these look like. Oh, this is so cool. 
Oh, and they got that linen finish. That's so cool. So this is the warehouse district, the uptown, the suburbs deck, the streets deck. And this is all Phil Cho art. I love his art. Rincon Labs, Police Station, Hero HQ. That's the one you have to unlock. Uh, downtown and the cave. So, and then on the back side here, of course, are all the things that are there's ongoing cards, item cards, one shots, um, ongoing, and then also our leads as well. Okay, so those are the location cards. So those go right here and here. Let's take a look at this. This is the rest of the cards. Oh, of course, the plastic never comes off. And of course, there's pressure because I'm on film trying to take the plastic off. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I feel the linen cards. So pretty. Okay, so we got the leads cards. I think there's 20 or 22. I forget off the top of my head. There's the lead cards. These are things that allow you to look deeper into decks and do other cool things. Think of them as like clues. Here's all the different powers. Every character starts with two different powers. Uh, there's a one side and a two side, depending on how far in the game you get. These are the hidden item cards. Now, this is the art of William Liberto. I just love his art, too. It's got, he's really good at drawing items. That's why I liked his stuff. Okay. These are special things that you have to go looking particularly for in the game. Um, now, whenever, if you've played a lot of cooperative games, uh, we played for so long, whenever we play, uh, we always call it the bad news deck. So I figured, you know, if you're going to play a cooperative game, you need to call it the bad news deck, not the event deck, because that's what it is. It's bad news, stuff that happens to mess you guys up. So this is the bad news deck. And then finally, uh, these are the dividers for uh, in the bad news, because remember, there's three acts in the game. Uh, there's the supply lines. When you're playing three or four players, the game uh, uh, has three acts, and you switch the direction of the supply lines, because it's also a drafting game. And then finally, we have a whole bunch of gangs. Um, gangs just come out and are annoying throughout the game. Oh, wow. So that, oh, there's one other thing we got to do. Here's your little um, plasticky things. Let's see. I think Amethyst Arrow was out there. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. There's Amethyst Arrow on her little standee. That's so exciting. All right, everybody. So that's. That is Sidekick Saga, where like I said, we're gonna have another video where we kind of go through just real quickly how to fix these. It's easy, but I thought it's better to have a video that's separate from this. Everyone, thanks a lot for uh, kickstarting Sidekick Saga. Um, where it'll be on sale, Cool Stuff Inc. and the found, um, what's it called? The Cash, Game Cash Forum. We'll also be selling it on our website, returnfromllc.com. Um, so please, if you haven't picked up the game, um, please do, and if you have, if you're one of our Kickstarters, thank you very much for your support. We really appreciate it. We got to make a great game with Phil Cho art. Thank you so much.